Anytime my heart turns from darkness to light Anytime temptation comes and someone stands to fight Anytime somebody lives to serve and not be served I know, I know, I know, I know God is on the move Choices made to stand upon the word I know, I know, I know families hi kids that was a fabulous video we saw with all the faces that you recognized reminding you of you of god's truth we started out with our crossroads leaders and they reminded us yep jesus is still king it might not feel like it all the time but he is still king and he's still on the throne and he's still wearing his crown then we started in Psalm 46, one of my favorite psalms. The psalms were songs that the Israelites used to sing to remind each other of what God had done and who he was and what he was like. Psalm 46, our teachers showed us and our volunteers did such a great job. And it was so nice to see them and their families as well. Psalm 46 helps us in a particular time. It talks about help in a time of trouble. That moment where we worried or anxious and we don't know what's going on. In Psalm 46, we read that the mountains fall into the sea and the mountains quake. That's the level of trouble the psalmist is speaking about. Mountains falling, mountains quaking. That's some quite serious trouble. These people were in some quite serious worry. But the psalm tells them, you need to turn to God. The first phrase is, God is our refuge. That's not a word we use all the time. So let's think of an example. When you're playing stuck in the mud or catches, often you have a home base or a safe place. So normally when you're running around, someone can touch you and you've got to freeze. But if you go to the home base... You're safe. You can relax. You can catch your breath. You don't have to worry. And that's very much what it means when the psalm says God is our refuge. We go to God because that's where we're safe. That's where we're home. That's where everything makes sense. That's where we're protected. And not only are we safe there, but the God we go to has great strength. Not a little bit of strength like you and me, not a kind of sometimes strength, but the strength, the power, the authority that made the world, the strength that raised Jesus from the dead. And that's the God we go to, to be safe and for his strength. But it doesn't finish there. It says something extraordinary then. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Ever-present, well, we go, go to sleep and we wake up, brush our teeth, eat, do some exercise. I hope you've been doing some exercise. 
go around and do our business? Well, we can't go to school anymore or go anywhere. But when we're learning, many of you are starting school again. When we're creating, when we're drawing, and when we go to sleep. All of those times of the day, at any place, wherever we are, God is ever-present. So this trouble that the psalmist knows that God's people will face, he says, when you're in trouble, turn to God where you will be safe. Turn to God for strength. Don't try and do it on your own. Use God's strength. And remember, God is everywhere. He's with you doing everything. God doesn't think there's something that's unimportant in your life. Everything is important to Every single moment of every day. God wants to be with you and help you in the times of trouble. The psalm continues and it goes down and it says later, God actually talks. We have an amazing privilege. God is a God who talks to us. And when God talks, we should listen. God says, be still. I know that I am God. Be still. Don't panic. Don't rush around trying to fix all the problems. If mountains are falling into seas and mountains are quaking, guys, we can do nothing about the problems. We need God's help. That word, be still, think to the New Testament. Do you remember ever Jesus saying those words? Remember when Jesus was in the boat? And a big storm came up and his disciples woke him up and said, don't you care, we're going to drown. Jesus stands up and says to the wind and the waves, be still. And what do they do? Immediately, they be still. Jesus could say that because he's the powerful creator. And God can say that because he's the powerful God. God says, be still and know that I am God. God's got this. Psalm 46 continues and says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations and I will be exalted in the earth. Whatever happens, Jesus will still be king. God will still be on control. God will still be our refuge and our strength, our ever-present help in times of trouble. These are great things that the Bible has told us, great things for us to know about who God is and how much he cares about us, his children. The Psalms were songs. So why don't you, at home, take this verse and make your own song, make a rap, make a dance, do something so that you can remember it. Do it with your family. Take a video and share it with someone else. Remember, we want to keep reaching out and reminding people of the God that we serve and that he is still king. Remember the each one reach one? Do something fun with this verse and then send it to someone else to encourage them. But before we finish, we're going to pray and thank God for all these things and also ask God to forgive us for the times where we forget that he is our safe place or the times where we try and do it in our own strength. So let's pray together. Father God, we're so sorry for the times we do not run to you for safety. We try and do everything our own. Please forgive us. Please help us, Lord, to lean on your strength. Please help us to come to you for safety. Please help us to listen to your words and remember that you are still king and that you are still on the throne and we are still your children. Amen. So remember, get creative and have some fun. Keep learning about Jesus and we'll see you again next week.